Hey there, my name is Carrie, and today we're going to go through a quick 10 minute demo video of how WeTravel works in three different parts. First, we're going to cover how you can build a new tour, trip, or retreat within our platform. Second, we'll take a look at what your customers will see when they book this offering either directly from your website or from a WeTravel booking page. And then third, we're going to explore the back end of our platform where you can manage participant bookings, financial reporting, fund transfers, and more. So let's get started. So this is what you'll see when you visit wetravel.com. It's completely free to sign up, which you can do so here in the top right corner using the email of your choice and filling in these fields. Once you've done that and are logged in, you'll see this orange create your trip button in the top right corner. So you can click on this to get started playing around on the site. The first thing we're going to go through is the trip builder. So this is where you'll see five different tabs on the left-hand side. It's pretty intuitive. It'll walk you through entering in the trip name, location, and dates. You can choose to make it a one-time departure or an offering on reoccurring dates. We'll go into that more in a minute, but essentially this is an option if you have tours or trips that run several times throughout the year. Your participants can select a date of their choice from among the available options that you give them. You can also choose to enable a waitlist, and if you Enable this, people can add their names and emails, and you can invite them to sign up later when a trip is sold out. Next, the itinerary is totally optional. If you don't want to use it and already have it elsewhere, just tick no. Otherwise, tick yes and create a daily itinerary and customize it to say what you'd like. Add a photo and or any links to third-party websites here. The next thing down at the left is the pricing. So this is where you can build different packages that you need to. You can build as many that you want and call them anything that you want. So for example, it could be called single room, double room, early bird, and so forth. You can choose to collect a deposit and you can build payment plans of up to 12 payments. So you can choose how many you need to do, the dates that they're due. If you want to enable partial payment, this allows your participants to log into their account and pay any amount at any time or select auto billing. This will actually auto charge your client on each due date to whatever payment method they have on file. No matter which option you're using, our system is going to automatically email your participants before each payment, reminding them to pay. And if they fail to pay on time, you'll also get an email reminder two days after the payments due date and you'll be notified as well. One thing to note about emails generated by WeTravel, if you're using our pro plan, all of those emails sent out will have your logo in the header and look like they're coming from you. All right, next up, you can set up add-on options here. Again, these are just some examples from our demo site, but whatever you type here, people can add to their cart when they check out. From there, you can choose to allow contributions or not, which is a pro-only feature. If you want to use this, it essentially allows your participants to create their own mini GoFundMe pages, which they can then share with friends and family to contribute towards their trip. It's mainly used in student travel, but also in other sorts of circumstances, such as honeymoons, contributions towards service-oriented trip, or maybe divorced parents that are paying for a trip together. Now, back here, you can also create discount codes, either in the form of dollar or percentage amounts. And you can decide who pays the credit card fee when participants choose to pay by card, as opposed to bank by bank transfer, which bears no fees. In this last step, you can create a custom registration form that you need to for each participant before they book. So say you've asked for birthdays, passport numbers, and for everyone to agree to your terms and conditions, you'll see different types of questions here. A file upload question would be if you want people to actually upload files like passport copies or something similar when they sign up. Lastly, you can also build a little welcome message that they'll receive in an automatic email after booking. Say you actually have a reoccurring trip. When you set the trip to reoccurring in the trip builder, you're gonna see a new tab that shows departures on the left. So you can choose the specific length of the trip and then under the departures tab, you can set up what dates the trip is available to be booked and block out any dates that it's not. And additionally, you can also set up seasonal pricing here if needed. Finally, once you're ready and you've built the trip, you can click publish here on the left and you're going to get a page that looks something like this. Let's say you use this trip link here. I'll show you two quick examples. Here's one. This shows a full trip page with all of the relevant information, what's included, not included, 
the packages, add-on options, and the itinerary down here. This allows your group or clients to see all the information and book directly off of this page. So it's great for custom travel, maybe as a proposal for your clients, or you could simply use it for invoicing. If you wanna make the trip page super simple, type in a small description of what you're invoicing for right here, and then send it to the client when they're ready to pay. But let's say you want to embed the booking directly into your own website. In one click, you can copy code to do that back here. Here's a few different options on the left-hand side for you to choose from. The first is the Book Now button. You can customize it to say whatever you'd like and choose a color that fits your brand. You can then copy and paste this code and add it to the back end of your website. Public facing, it would look something like this. Where this company already has all the information on their own website about the tour and basically you just click book now to get a pop-up for the customer can register and pay without ever leaving your website. You'll see that they can choose a package. If you had add-ons, they would add those to their cart too. They continue and fill, on, fill out all of the registration information. And then pay. Once your clients have booked, you'll get an automatic email and they'll also get an email with a risk seat and confirmation of what they've booked. In the last part of the demo, we're going to look at the back end of WeTravel. You can navigate here from My Trips in the upper right, and on this page, you'll see all the information about your offerings. You can go in and edit or copy trips at any time, and when you click on Manage Trip, you'll see something like this. This is our Manage Trip dashboard, so here you can see all the people who've booked this trip, you can click on a client's name and you'll see exactly what they've booked, their payment activity, their registration data. You're even able to leave little custom notes for yourself or your team within this box. And then you have lots of options on the left-hand side, such as sending direct messages, adding payments from over the phone, or to keep track of cash payments that have come in offline. Also switching packages and issuing full or partial refunds. Keep in mind, refunds on WeTravel are 100% free, so we do reimburse all of the fees when making a refund. You can do other things such as edit payment plans for a specific booking or set custom prices. You can also manage the wait list and set and send emails to an entire group at once, or maybe just to people who need to re reminder to submit information or payments. That's all done from here. Back under bookings, you can also download all of this information to an Excel file that gives you a complete picture of your participant data for the trip. It looks something like this with all of the payment information on the first tab and all of the participant information questionnaire responses on the second tab. Once you've had bookings and are ready to transfer collected funds out of WeTravel, you can do that from the payments portal here, which is accessible from the top. You can see all incoming payments and outgoing transfers. Click My Accounts to add the, your bank account of choice to transfer funds out of the systems at any time. Along this row, you can also switch views to see collected funds in different currencies. If you'd like to wire money to vendors or suppliers anywhere in the world, it's a $15 or euro or pound fee, whatever the equivalent is in the other currencies we support. It's a flat fee and it doesn't change no matter the amount that you send. A second option is to load funds on the WeTravel credit card, which can be virtual credit card or physical plastic card if mailed to a US address. They're kind of like preloaded Visa gift cards, so think of them as a way to pay vendors, something to give your tour guides on the ground so they can pay miscellaneous expenses or just use it as an internal business credit card. A third option is to transfer the funds you've collected to vendors or partners directly on WeTravel from this tab. So let's say you have a vendor or supplier that also uses WeTravel or that you'd like to invite one to WeTravel for this reason. You can instantly transfer funds from your account to theirs free of charge with just one click. Finally, let's look at all of your reporting, which is also under the payments tab. The payment reporting, you're going to see every payment you've received from every trip in your account all in one place. Under the transactions tab on the left, 
you'll have you'll see more of a bank style report. We've designed this for accounting purposes, so you can filter by dates or trips, download it all to Excel, or grab grab a quick QuickBooks file if that's what you happen to use for accounting. I'll also highlight this customers tab, which shows a full list of all of your trips participants. You can again download this to Excel and import this into any kind of marketing or email software you might use. The data on these two tabs, transactions and customers, is also integratable via Zapier into any third party app. If you're not familiar with Zapier, they connect one software program to another. So, for example, if every time a new customer joins one of your trips, you want their data to sync into your MailChimp account, you can make that happen with Zapier. Lastly, let's look at the account profile page. Here, when setting up your profile and using a WeTravel Pro account, you're able to connect WeTravel to your Google Analytics. This will give you a picture of activities of your customers and prospective customers. For example, visits to your trip pages or clicks to your Book Now button. Also with a Pro account, you can add the travel insurance affiliate link of your choice. Finally, I would like to show you the team member setting, which is great for a few different reasons. One, let's say your sales team or your admin team wants to be able to log in and build trips on behalf of the main account. You can edit their permissions here, but no matter what, a team member will never have access to your funds. The team members function is also great if you're collaborating with people outside of your organization. For wellness retreats, this might be, this might be two or more co-retreat leaders. For student travel, it might be a teacher who's involved. Any of these other stakeholders can log into their own account as a team member and see who's signed up, who's paid, etc. Basically, you can give them view only access. One last thing I'll point out if you need support or your trip participants need support, our customer support team is always available for help. Here, you can see this live chat in the bottom right corner of any pages on our site. Let's say one of your customers has questions related to payments or accessing booking details. Our support team can handle that for you so you don't have to be the middleman. Also, we covered a lot here, but I'll point to our help center. Our help center has a very extensive FAQ. You can search almost anything up at the top and pull up detailed step-by-step -step instructions, including screenshots. Okay, I hope that was helpful and they're all ready to get started creating your first trip on WeTravel. If you have any following questions that weren't covered in my demo and you can't find them in our FAQ center, please don't hesitate to reach out to us by live chatting us in the bottom right corner of the site or shooting us an email at info at Looking forward to working together soon.